Okay, so first of all, I will type 1% in this cell here, and then 2% here. Select both of these cells, and then click and drag across until I get to 10%. Then in this cell, do equals 1% plus 0 0.1, and that will get me to 11%. I'll just hide the extra decimal places and then drag this formula across and then up until I get to 100%. Then select all of these columns and decrease the width and make a note of the number of pixels. So this is 72 pixels. Then select the rows and increase the height of the rows until they are the same number of pixels, so 72 pixels. And now the cells are perfect squares. The numbers are still there, we just can't see them now because the font is so big. I will then change the fill of these cells to be a light blue. Then, while all these cells are still selected, go to Conditional Formatting and New Rule. And then format only cells that contain a cell value which is less than or equal to the value in this cell here, and Enter. And then I'll choose a format for this and change the fill to be a darker blue, and OK, and OK again. And now every cell which is 57% or less is a darker blue. We will now hide all of the numbers by selecting everything and then pressing Control 1 to open up the format box. Then go to Custom and change the number format to semicolon, semicolon, semicolon. And OK. And this hides all of the numbers. Then we'll add in borders, so click and go to More Borders. Then choose the thicker line and change the colour to white and give it an outline and also inside borders. We can't see the borders at the moment as they are white, but if we click OK, we can see them in the waffle chart. Then go to View and remove the grid lines. Okay, so in this video I have shown you how to make a waffle chart in Excel, and that is everything.